tennis spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, from a lot of people wanting me to do Babolat lines, the reason I didn't do Babolat lines is because I figured everybody knew um, about their rackets, but apparently maybe you just want to refresh your course. So today I'm going to be reviewing the whole Babolat Pure Arrow banana line. This banana right here line. All right. You guys ask, you guys love commenting on banana, so we're gonna talk about this banana today. All right, so hang on. Wait, oh, okay, just, I'll eat this later. I'll eat this later. Banana. Okay. All right, okay, let's get started now. The Pure Arrow line used to be called the Arrow Pro Drive, okay? You guys remember that. So this is second generation Pure Arrow line. Uh, when it was called the Arrow Pro Drive, there was actually more weight in the handle and less weight on top. So therefore easier to spin, right? Easier to do that, right? When they changed it, to the Pure Arrow, um, the generation before this one, they moved the weight a bit and they added it more into the uh, the neck, the throat area so that it would kind of plow through a little more. So the name has something to do with that. Arrow Pro, you had Arrow first, aerodynamic, right? Now it's Pure Arrow, so Pure, word first right so there's more plow with the aerodynamic at the same time okay so that's my guess as to why they changed the name okay so with this line of rackets um there's a little more plow through with these along with the spin okay so pure aero pure aerodynamic um the signature aerodynamic throat has always been, you know, one of the characteristics of this line, okay? That's what makes it go through the air fast and come up and provide a lot of spin. You know, they call this the spin machine, like I've said before, okay? And the number one selling racket um, in the line, probably top three racket in the nation in terms of sales, is this one right here. This is the pure arrow, regular, okay? So it clocks in at 10.6 ounces unstrung, right? It's got 27 inches um, of length, 100 square inches of surface area, okay? Stiffness rating of 67, okay? So, and it's got a beam of 23, 26 and 23 okay so that helps with the the firmness in the center here and then the aerodynamicness of the thin and thin right so um as you see cortex is gone he, from the throat right because it looks back like the original one that everybody loved including myself um but they added cortex to the three and nine area right here so it's inside the frame to dampen some of the shock all right i personally don't like cortex um i like to feel the ball so i kind of like that hollow feel i don't use a dampener either so um but this historically has been you know a top selling racket in their line uh probably one of the best selling rackets in history um, not this particular one, but the whole line. So it's consistently been top three in the last, I want to say, 10 years at least. And I'm sure it has to do with this guy, Rafa Nadal, right? He's a beast and he sells a lot of rackets, okay? So that's number one selling racket 
Uh, still top three today. Okay, standard pure drive. All right, for those of you who want to know strong specs, um, it clocks in at 11.2 ounces, which is 318 grams, four points headlight. So four points headlight is going to equal to about 330 uh, millimeters. And the swing weight is 324. Um, and, I, and I said the stiffness was 67. Okay. And that's the standard one. All right. Next up, Pure Drive Plus. Okay. Plus means it's a half inch longer. Okay. Now, I'm going to start here. I'm going to deviate a little bit right here. I've seen people come in uh, and have me string rackets that they didn't realize that they bought. Uh, most people think that they walked in with this racket, which is the standard pure drive. This is what they think they got, okay? But I've seen people walk in with the longer version. I've seen people walk in with the heavier version. I've even seen people walk in with the light version, okay? So when you go shopping for these, make sure you're getting the right one because they all look the same, okay? Um, number one giveaway is it'll say right here very subtly, that's a plus, okay? Very subtly. Now, for us, when we look at it, we look at that, right? Because that immediately tells us what it is. And then we also look at the handle, so the make of the pluses, they actually put us another wrap on it of uh, like a cardboard um, telling us that it's longer, right? So this, as soon as we touch it, oh, we know that's longer. Okay, see the arrows with the line? That's telling us that's not the regular one and it's thicker, right? Because it's an extra layer. The standard one will not have that. Okay, so so when you buy a racket, make sure you're getting the right one. Okay, all right. So into the plus line, half inch longer. Pretty much the same specs as the regular one. So the only thing that really changes is the balance. You know, because you add a half inch on the end your balance is going to change on the racket. So this becomes six points headlight, which is 323 millimeters. Uh, swing weight is obviously going to change. You just added half an inch on the end. There's going to be more weight here to swing, right? So that turns into 330. Um, for some, well, no, not too bad. The, the, the stiffness rating goes up one point to 68, like the Tour. So this is a little firmer. There will be a little more power. So not only do you get half an inch of reach, right? You will get a little more power. Anytime you go longer, you gain a little power. All right. So that's the plus. All right. Next up, Pure Arrow Team. Okay. So this is what I deem and I hate to do this because you guys hate hate it because you call me out on it. Um, kind of the woman's racket. Um, woman's racket to um, teen, low teen racket. Uh, like somebody that's 14 years old, um, wanting something a little lighter. Can't quite handle the regular one yet. Uh, you want a little more of... Uh, yeah, like a lighter swing weight coming forward, lighter overall. Um, I sell a ton of these to women. Um, so that's why I call it that way. So so don't get mad at me for saying that, all right? Because uh, the, you buy it, okay? You buy it for your wives. Um, that, that's just kind of where this kind of falls in on the, the racket scale here, okay? So this thing clocks in at... 10.6 strong so it's about 10.1 unstrung okay um so that's 301 grams four points headlight now so when we lightened up the racket 
we add it more to the head. So there's more weight coming through, okay? But then the swing weight is lower because there's less mass, there's less of it. So the swing weight goes down to 307, okay? Now, they all that also bumps up this power. So it clocks in at 69 on the stiffness scale, all right? So that is the Pure Arrow Team, T-E-A-M. Last up, Pure Arrow Light. So we know this is a Pure Arrow Light because of the white grip, okay? Every other racket here has a black grip, okay? So this is the dead giveaway. If you see a Babolat with a white grip, it's probably a light version, okay? So they used to have the white tops, right? Now they're doing the white grips, okay? So that's a light, okay? So 9.5 ounces without the strings, heavy, lightest racket in this line. Uh, clocks in at about 10.1 strung. I sell a lot of these to kids who get who are who are getting their first rackets or their first adult rackets. So to that 12 year old who's ready for an adult racket, usually it's this one. Um, it's usually in a zero grip, which is the smallest grip they make. Okay, so this is a one grip but they do have a zero grip, all right? So, um, so for you advanced junior 10 year old uh, on up, this is probably a great choice, or this is a great choice, okay? Uh, for you adult women who want one of the lighter rackets out there, this is a great choice also, okay? So this racket is actually even balanced. So not head heavy, not head light, just dead even, okay? Now, what does that mean? Everything else here is head light by anywhere from four to six points. So what that means is this is actually head heavier, okay? Because they make those rackets so light, they actually have to put weight out here in the head, right? Because if they made this thing like head light, this racket will go through fast, but at impact, your arm's gonna hurt. So they actually have to add weight to the head as the racket gets lighter. That makes sense? If it doesn't, let me, let me know. I'm gonna do a, a video on that one of these days, head heavy versus head light. Um, okay, so even balanced, all right? The swing weight is 311, so the number goes up from the, the team, which was 307. So again, even balanced, there has to be more mass coming through on the swing weight, okay? Now, it drops a little bit in the stiffness, though, because of that, so it goes to 68. So it's a little less firm, just a little. I mean, the whole line is kind of within that 67 to 69 range, um, which is fine. I mean, that's all this, these rackets really need. Um, so that's, that's the Pure Arrow Light. Look for that white grip. Lastly, we have the Pure Arrow Banana. Uh, this feels like a 4 and 5 eighths grip, because look, if look at the spacing right there, okay? So... We can put that grip right here and send you out with it, you know, like pure arrow banana. All right. How do you guys open a banana like this? Look, look, when it's fresh, it's hard to open. Do you open it like that? Or do you open it like, see, it's, I think it's easier just to do that, right? You use your nails and you pump it in there. All right, right? Pure arrow banana. Thanks for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.